Welcome back to Psalm number 9. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of your wonders. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. My enemies turn back. They stumble and perish before you. For you have upheld my right and my cause. You have sat on your throne judging righteously. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. Endless ruin have overtaken the enemy. You have uprooted their cities. Even the memory of them has perished. The Lord reigns forever. He has established his throne for judgment. He will judge the world in righteousness. He will govern the peoples with justice. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name will trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord enthroned in Zion. Proclaim among the nations what he has done. For he who avenges blood remembers. He does not ignore the cry of the afflicted. O Lord, see how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death, that I may declare your praises in the gates of the daughter of Zion, and there rejoice in your salvation. The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug. Their feet have caught the net they have hidden. The Lord is known by his justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. The wicked return to the grave, all the nations that forget God. But the needy will not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the afflicted ever perish. Arise, O Lord, let not man triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, O Lord. Let the nations know they are but men. I love the first line of this one. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. Not just a little bit of my heart, not half my heart or three-fourths, but all my heart. And that's a good message today. We all need to remember to be praising Him with all of our heart. Then I love verse 4. You have upheld my right and my cause. And that just reminds me, my friends, that He knows the different things that we're going through. And He is going to help fight for us and He is going to uphold us. And then I love, love, love verse 10 and 11. Let's read that. Those who know your name will trust in you, for you, Lord, have never, and I have that in a little square there, never forsaken those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord enthroned in Zion and proclaim among the nations what he has done. So when you know God and really know him, you can trust him with everything in your life because he's never going to forsake you. And then the next verse talks about proclaiming him to the next generation, letting everybody know. And when you do really trust him and he's brought you through things, it's really easy to be telling the next generation how faithful he is and how wonderful he is. So that generation can also put their trust in God too. So remember today, praising him with your whole heart. Remember, he's never going to forsake you and that we need to tell the next generation what he has done. Have a great day doing all those, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. And I would like to answer any question you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. 